Mr. Speaker, last month the Prime Minister went to China to attend a G20 meeting. And we all know, Mr. Speaker, that China is one of the PM's favorite places. We can all recall him saying in the past, I actually have a certain level of ad admiration for China. Their basic dictatorship allows them to turn their economy on a dime. Now, Mr. Prime, uh, Mr. Speaker, it's alarming for a Prime Minister to say he admires dictatorships. It's even more alarming for a Prime Minister to turn a blind eye to the brutality of some dictatorships. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we all know in China the human rights abuse record is abysmal. Yet this Prime Minister tried to appease them by saying that Canada's human rights record is not so perfect anyway. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it's one thing to be a Prime Minister in this country. It's another thing to represent our country internationally. But that, of course, didn't stop the Prime Minister from posing for pictures, Mr. Speaker, because as we all know, that's what he's good at. stable relationship with China allows for is an airing of concerns and difficulties faced by both countries. The fact that we now have an ongoing dialogue where we can highlight uh, concerns we have about consular cases and indeed in some cases resolve them, the fact that the Chinese can bring up issues that they have requests or questions about is what a strong relationship is all about. But as I have reassured, reassured Canadians many times, as I have said to the Chinese leadership, as I am happy to say in this House, Canada has very strong principles uh, around the rule of law, around extradition treaties, and we will not uh, bend those principles for anyone. Honourable Member for Outremont. Worth if it comes from a dictatorship that abuses human rights, Mr. Speaker. China is a dictatorship, and it doesn't rec uh, respect the rule of law. They systematically violate people's rights, according to Amnesty International. And the Prime Minister thinks this is a good area or a good place we could extradite people to. So if China promises and swears that they won't hurt the people that, that they want deported, will that be good enough for the Prime Minister of Canada? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I said, we need to have relationships with the, this country to have all kinds of discussions with their government. And the realities are that uh, we have consular issues to discuss, economics, human rights discussions, and these have already borne fruit. The reality is that we have a commitment that allows us to hear what the Chinese are concerned about and what their questions are while anchoring our principles on rights and protection of values that are dear to us here in Canada. And this is what we